The saga continues for suspended Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff. It's day two of her impeachment trial in the Senate, which means the defense witnesses get their opportunity to speak. CCTV's Paulo Cabral is following all the action in Brasilia. The atmosphere remains raucous in the Senate in Brasilia. For the second consecutive day, the trial of Dilma Rousseff had to be suspended after a row broke out among lawmakers. Senate President Renan Calheiros took the stand to chastise his peers for their behavior. If we don't start behaving differently in this trial, we will give Brazil and the world the impression that you, Mr. Chief Justice, are presiding over a trial inside an insane asylum. Only after lunch did the Senate reconvene and continue with the hearing of witnesses. On Thursday, only the two people requested by the prosecution had time to speak in a session that lasted until 11 o'clock at night. The defense has called six witnesses for their side, so it's expected to last much longer. The first defense witness was economist Luiz Gonzaga Beluso, who said Dilma Rousseff did all she could to rebalance the country's accounts last year without committing any crimes. But anti-Rousseff senators say they don't expect any defense testimony to change minds. Maybe we will see senators that are not yet convinced of the crimes of Dilma Rousseff now turning to the other side and voting for the impeachment. We already count 60 votes for the impeachment, above the 54 needed, and we're sure none will change. Anticipation is growing for Monday session when Dilma Rousseff is expected to speak to the Senate directly. She'll deliver a statement and then subject herself to questioning. There is speculation, a direct confrontation between the suspended president and the senators who want her out of power could lead to the most explosive moment yet in this impeachment process. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, Brasília.